So there's a lot of quick and easy ways that you can crop a photo for use in your work. And I want to cover just a few here to consider. So firstly, what I want to say is consider taking a screenshot. So often when you're dealing with smaller res images or just a post on social or something for a Word doc, you don't necessarily need the biggest possible resolution. And for that, you could just do a screenshot. So what do I mean by that? Specifically, if we take this photo here of a lovely blue flower, as opposed to downloading it, cropping it, anything else, and this comes from the great site unsplash.com, on Windows, I'm going to search for Snip, so Snipping Tool. In future, this will be replaced with a Snip and Sketch, but it's all the exact same. So I'm going to just basically grab a little piece of the screen that I want. So I'll click on New. Now I'll just drag it to the part that I want. And instantly, I have a cropped photo. So you can copy this or save it and then use it wherever you want to. So if you just have a little part of an image that you find on screen or anywhere else, taking a quick screen grab of it allows you to, in effect, crop it for use. Super fast and entirely free, of course. Now, if you're on the Mac, uh, Mac has a beautiful built-in screenshot tool as well. So uh, there's an article here that I'll link to. But generally, you'll be looking to use Shift-Command-5 or, or Shift-Command-3. And from there, you're going to get a bunch of options from within Mac to capture either the entire screen or, more importantly, like I just described, kind of click and drag a section. Some additional unconventional ideas is Canva. So if you know a very specific width and height that you need, so if you know if it's for a banner or kind of you need to take up a left side of something and you know the pixel dimensions, inside Canva itself, you can go ahead and click whatever width you want. Let's say we had 1400 by 600, or even as kind of an approximation. So it kind of looked like a bit like a banner. And then you had a photo and you upload it or copy and paste it into it. So let's, um, I'm actually a little, I said that out loud. I'm kind of curious to try that. I'm going to copy this image. I'll come over to Canva and paste. And how about that? It came right in there. So not only that, you can go find images online from Unsplash and paste it into the Canva board you just created. And now at this point, you have plenty of options for it. Now Canva is only going to output what you can see within the white area. So this is going to allow you to move it around however you want. And remember, Canva is entirely free, and you can get this on Mac, Windows, and even a Chromebook if you want to have that as an option. So just output whatever size, create a design of whatever pixel width and height you want, drag around the photo, save it then as the PNG, and you have a cropped perfect size photo. So one last trick. Uh, this For any photos that you come across, this might work. You just need to check for a particular variable in the URL. So what do I mean by that? You find a beautiful photo. In this case, it's this delicious looking coffee mug from Mike Marquez. Now, if you right click on this image, don't download it, leave it in the browser, right click and open image in new tab. So now we've just edited, we just opened this photo on its own. There's one thing to notice up in the top URL, at the very end, we see something you will say perhaps width or in this case, W for width. And then you're going to see a number. So and W, in this case, it's 1350. That's the width. So what happens if we go in there and edit that and 1600. Now the photo is 1600 pixels wide. The website is using a server side resizing tool that whatever that URL says, it comes back with that particular size. So we can come in here and edit anything add anything we want and get that size. Note though, in, this, in a lot of these cases, it's only um, one dimension. So I can't tell it, okay, width and height. So you do have that limitation, but at the very least you can kind of resize it to something where you want it. So if you if something says, you know, you can only upload a photo that's a thousand pixel wide, you can use this trick to keep it there. And then additionally too, you want to play and keep an eye out. This Q would stand for quality. So if you want to ensure that's the highest quality, you up that to 100 just increase the quality a little bit. And that's it. So there's a lot of free and fast tools to be able to do a really quick crop or just grab a snapshot or a quick little bit of an image for use anywhere else on the web and for making your work or websites look amazing. Hope that helps. If you have any questions or your own ideas, I'd love to hear from a comment. 
And until next time, cheers to your great looking work.